Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here coming at you with a very exciting LEGO Star Wars review. This is set number 7264, The Imperial Inspection. This set came out in 2005, has 367 pieces, is ages 8 plus, and contains 10 awesome minifigures. When it came out again in 2005, it originally retailed for $49.99 or 50 US dollars. So without further ado, let's get into this awesome set right now. Okay, so the first two minifigures in your set are both identical. They are these Imperial Royal Guards. And so you can see they have the plain um, red colored torso and um, pants along with the bright red cape and the hooded mask and they do come with a large spear and they under the helmet have a plain black head and you do get two of these in this set the next two minifigures in this set are your um, imperial officers and they are both exactly identical so you can see they have the gray torso with the detailing on the front along with the generic head and you can see the imperial officer cap as they have no back printing. So you get two of these in this set. The next four minifigures in this set are all identical stormtroopers. And the cool thing about these ones are these are exclusive to this set, meaning they cannot be found in any other set. And what's special about them is that they have this very awesome looking leg printing. So you can see here, just a closer look at that leg printing. And the um, helmet and torso are exactly identical. As we move to the back, same printing as usual. And you can see they have the microphone blaster along with a plain bright yellow um, head. So you do get four of these in the set. The next minifigure in this set is Darth Vader. And so he is your pretty generic Darth Vader here. You can see the nice printing on him. And here is the back of his cape, as he does not have any back printing. And then his face here is a plain um, Darth Vader face. It's your normal gray face. And so that is Darth Vader. And the final minifigure, and probably the most rare and sought after, is your gray faced Emperor Palmatine and so this figure here you can see um, has of course the black cape and has the hood and he uh, you could see on the front some better look at that torso detailing and he has the angered look with the yellow eyes and he comes with a walking stick as seen there so that is your 10th and final minifigure in this set. And now let's get on to the vehicles. All right, so there are three parts to this set. You have your tram, your command center, and then the actual Imperial shuttle. So first off, we'll start off here with the tram. And so you can see here it is two parts. The front part here has um, our driver's seat here. You have a small light and a couple of levers for the controls. And then this section here in the back is um, able to hold a black crate, which is actually pretty interesting because I've actually never seen this crate in this color. So that's pretty cool and it does not have anything inside. And just quickly to show you, you can take your Imperial officer and you can actually just seat him right inside like so and in the back section here you could see we have a um, couple of tools here in the back your chainsaw and wrench 
and then there are a couple more tools here on the inside you have a hammer like object and then another like wrench like object here and you could see the couple of red lights in the back so that is your tram All right so here we have our command center and so you can see here we have two main parts here on the left is our crane and on the right is our actual viewing area so we'll start off here with our crane so it can move back and forth and it can move almost 360 degrees but in the way comes our antenna and so as seen here you have a small crate and if you open it up here it does not have anything inside and the way you connect it you could see we have this piece here with the hole in it you put it right on the hook like so and that's how it's connected and the lever can move or I mean the crane can move up and down from both ways and then moving along as shown here we have our um, guard railing along with our small antenna then here on top we have these two um, mini turrets and you can see some more detailing here with the lightsaber rods which leads us to our main viewing area which is covered by two glass pieces and actually we move around here you can see again the crane you have a rotating chair along with a small control panel over there so what you can do here is you can take your imperial officer you can actually uh, put him in the chair here or here um, at the viewing area and then the last feature here you have two studs and those are actually where you'd put your larger um, blasters. And these are the ones that two of the stormtroopers carry. As our Imperial officer will take him out of the way. But you just put them all on like so. So those are your basically weapons racks over there. And that's going to do it for our command center and now let's get on to our actual imperial shuttle all right so here is our imperial shuttle itself and so first off just to identify here is our main cockpit this is your top wing with our two side wings which do fold down and then this area here is our main passenger area as you will see the inside of that in just a bit but first off here, we'll start off with our main passenger area. Alright, so just to take a closer look at our cockpit. So here is the main um, windshield, which basically just pops off like so. And inside it reveals our main ca um, cabin. And so you can see we have a nice printed control panel along with a couple of studs. And then this area right here is where you would fit your um, pilot. But the funny thing about this set is that it actually doesn't include an Imperial pilot. But you can of course use one of your Imperial officers instead. And he just sits like so. And you could just pop the cockpit on like so. And now he is safe and sound. And another feature is you can actually move this up like so and down. I believe it's supposed to be up when it's in landing mode and down in flight mode. And then you could see also another printed piece here with some very nice detailing. As all the pieces are printed in the set so there are no stickers. And now actually um, we'll take a look here. You can see we have two smaller blasters on each side right there and two larger turrets here on the wings. And now let's take a look at our main um, passenger cabin. All right, and moving on to our back area here. You can see here are the two um, main engines 
along with some more detailing here with the translucent blue pieces. And this is the main door to your driver's cabin. So basically it just folds down like so. And that reveals our interior. Which as we take out here is this piece. So you might be wondering what this is. Well, as we'll actually set it down here, you can actually take your two um, Royal Guard Spears, as I'll show you right now, and you can place them inside these um, headlight bricks, like so, and one on each side, one for each guard. And the way you would seat someone is actually we'll just quickly move the shuttle out of the way here is you can take up to three figures so let's take um, em the Emperor and maybe a Royal Guard and let's just say a Stormtrooper so basically how these figures sit down so here on the back the Emperor would sit as he has his own special spot and then over here you can take our royal guard, have him sit right over there, and the stormtrooper here on the other side. And it is a bit tough, you actually do have to remove the weapons of the figure. And so, yeah, a bit of a tight squeeze there, but it is able to hold three minifigures and actually moving back over here you could see these pieces here they will meet with a green piece right over there it's a little tough to see but basically it just goes right inside like so and then of course it closes up like so and your minifigures are inside. And then just a quick look here at our bottom area here. We have our main landing gear, which are basically three of these kind of table type pieces. And you have a couple of studs right there. As you can see, it is a bit annoying as those pieces do fall out easily. But anyways, now let's take a look at our main um, wings. Alright, so the way our wings work here is basically unlike the newer versions of our Imperial Shuttle, there is no um, knob on the back that turns the wings down as you have to do them manually. So just um, bring the wings down like so. And actually I'll lift it up here. And you can bring the wings all the way to this point, as seen here, as that is where it actually um, stops. But you could see there, and just a closer look here at the wing. It's pretty simple, there isn't much detailing except for a stud over there. And then again, a closer look here at our engine with the gun, and you can kind of see how the mechanism works over there like so and then here we have our main wing is all set it down over here and so this wing is pretty simple too you could see some um, touches of dark and light bluish gray on the wing along with our stud here on the top and then another printed piece over there so that's pretty much it for our Imperial Shuttle. And that will do it for the review of set number 7264, The Imperial Inspection. So all in all, it's a pretty good set. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And the reason why not a 10 out of 10, because there are a couple of minor flaws. First of which, these small blasters, they do fall off very easily along with the landing gear on the bottom that also gets loose and breaks off very easily and then also there are a couple of places where like there are cracks here you could see it's um into the main um passenger cabin 
And there are a couple of those bright green pieces in, in there which are kind of visible. But that's also not too bad. I mean, those are just a few minor flaws with the set. But all in all, it's a pretty good set. So, um, if you're looking to buy this set, I say on Bricklink, you can find it for about $150 um, used. And it can go up to $250 um, sealed new in box. And the reason why this set is quite expensive, as it was originally $50, is because of the um, rare minifigures, your four um, exclusive stormtroopers, along with the gray faced version of Emperor Palmatine. So, I mean, those figures do drive the price up a bit, but still, again, you can find it for 150 or so. I actually bought this um, for $80 because it was actually a bit of a special. Um, because. Um, the um, Emperor Palmatine was actually not included when I bought this set, but I did actually have that figure um, in my personal collection. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this awesome review. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this review of the Imperial Inspection. So please give this video a thumbs up and of course share your comments to this set. Do you like it? Do you not like it? So tell me your views and put that down in the comments below. But anyways, this is BrickWizard59 and I want to thank everyone for watching this review. So please do not forget to subscribe for more LEGO Star Wars reviews as I'll see you next time.